morning students welcome to today's class today we are going to look at me media and mode what is mean mean simply is the average of a given set of number mean is the average of a given set of number when you have a set of number, the average of that number is what we call the mean of that number. Another word we'll be looking at is median. Median is the middle number. When a given set of number is arranged in ascending or descending order, what do I mean by that? If you have a set of numbers or a set of data, the middle number, when this number is arranged in ascending or descending order, is called the median. It's always given by arranging the number in ascending or descending order. Sometimes you have two numbers at the middle. For instance, if you have a total number of an even number, for instance, we have 10 numbers. 10 is an even number. Therefore, you are going to have two numbers at the middle. That is the fifth number and the sixth number. Therefore, to find the median of this set of number, set of even number, then you add the two middle number which is the fifth and the sixth in this case add it together and divide by two that will give you the median another one we are going to look at is mode what is mode mode is the number with the highest frequency for instance in collect in the collection of data we have number that that, that may be repeated again and again and again now the number with the highest frequency that is the in the data that occur most is called the mode of that set of number as we progress in this uh, class we are going to be seeing example of what we are saying to calculate mean, there is a formula used in calculating mean. And that formula is what we have here. We have summation x over summation f. What is summation x? Summation x is the total number of the data or of the number given over the number of times they appear, that is, the frequency, the total number. We have another formula, summation fx. This one is used when we are looking at a group data. Then we have a, a frequency, the total uh, a frequency multiplied by the, the data over the total frequency. Now, sometimes in calculating mean, we use what we call assume mean. Assume mean is just from the word assumed. When we have a set of number, and we assume that, okay, let this number be the mean. That number that we choose is what we call the assume mean. If you are using assume mean to look for the mean of a given set of number. Then you have mean equals a a stand for the assumed mean plus summation that is the sum of the frequency times the deviation over summation f. We shall be looking at this from time to time. Now let's take example. Say so find the mean of the of the distribution. 11, 21, 32, 37, 45, 5, 16, 27, 31, 43, 
and 29. Now, when you look at this, in this data now, we have 11. The summation X, X is the data or the score. It depends on, on, on what you are giving. It may be score, it may be age, it may be uh, uh, a, a kilogram, it may be anything. But in this case, we just call it distribution. We have 11 and all that. Now, the summation, that is the sum. 11 plus 21 plus 37 plus 45 plus 5 plus 16 plus 27 plus 31 plus 43 plus 29 over the total frequency. That is how often did they appear? 11 appear once, uh, 21 once, 37 once, uh, 45 once, 5 once, 16 once, 27 once, 30. 31 once, 45 once, and 29. When you add all these together, you see that each of them, since they appear one, 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 one time, therefore, we have 10 in all. Therefore, when you add this score together, you have 268 divided by 10. Therefore, then we have our, our answer to be what? 26. That 260 divided by 10, we have 26. Now, let's take another example. Look at another one. Where we have the table below show the age of student in a certain school. If the average is 10 years, find the value of X. In this case, you are giving it to me. But there is a number you have to look for, the value of X. X is a frequency. In the frequency, you have the number of, of, uh, of students, that is the frequency. Then let's look at this. We have mean equals, that is the formula summation Fx over summation F. Now, you have 13 multiplied by 15 because 13 appears 15 times. Now, we have 14 appear 42 times. 7 appear X times. And 10 appear 5 times. Therefore, in finding each of these, you multiply the, in the age by the number of students that have that age that is 13 times 15 plus 14 times 42 plus 7 times x plus 16 times 5. And when you add that together, that will now give you what 700 plus 10x equals 997. Then, in if you uh, if you you do the calculation, you have if, if 3x equals 297, therefore x is what? 297 divided by, by 3. And you have your answer. Now let's take another one. Now this time, we have to look at the mean deviation and standard deviation. What is mean deviation and standard deviation? Mean deviation actually is the deviation from mean. For instance, you have your mean. Remember, we are taking this as an average. We have our score. Now, for instance, we have 10, 8, 5, and, and so on. Then we say our mean is 8. Now, there is a, a deviation. The difference between the first number, 5, 10, and 8. The difference is 2. Then that is a deviation. So, now, in finding mean deviation, we are going to take an example. The formula for mean deviation for ungrouped data is given as MD. Mind you, we'll be using MD for mean deviation. It's what? Summation. Deviation from mean, which is what? The score or the data minus the mean over 
the frequency. Mid why mid deviation for group data is what submission F mid deviation over submission F. Now let us take an example. Look at this question. Find the mid deviation of two, three, six, eight, and eleven. First, you find the mean. Because without finding the mean, you wouldn't know the deviation from the mean. Now, in finding the mean, we have 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 over the total fre frequency. In this case, we have this divided by the frequency, we have 6. 6 is our mean. Now, let's proceed now to the mean deviation. Having calculated our mean to be 6, now, we know our score is, we have this 2, minus 3, 6, 8, and 11. Now, let us now come to the, our frequency is 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, the mean, we have first, 2 minus 6, we have 4, we have here, Three minus we have minus two zero two and five. That is uh, there's an error here. Please, I will correct that in the next class. Now, when you find the mean deviation, summation the sum of the mean deviation is. Now, you have to take the modulus. The modulus is the absolute value, which is the positive value of the mean deviation. Now, the positive value of 4 is 4, minus 3 is 3, 0 is 0, 2 is 2, 5 is 5. But like I said, there is an error in that minus 3, which I look at that. Then we go. This was supposed to be. If three, not minus three. There's an error there. Now, having said that, we move forward. Let's look at the next example. The test score of a class of 45 students in mathematics is given below. Score. Two people score three. Six people score four. Five people score five. Four people score six, and so on and so forth. Now you are asked to calculate the mean score. B, the standard deviation. Now, standard deviation, there is a step in calculating standard deviation. There is a step in calculating standard deviation. You do, you do not just jump into that. Now, the formula for standard in the deviation in the first place is SD, stand for standard deviation, is the square root of summation F deviation squared. Small letter D stands for deviation and is given as X minus me, the absolute value, then over summation F. Then, we have another formula that you can still use to achieve the same goal. So the square root of summation fs squared over summation f minus summation fx over summation f all square. Then, when you find the root, you get that. Now, let us now go back to step in calculating standard deviation. One. You first of all calculate the mean. After calculating the mean, you find the deviation of each number from the mean. That is the mean deviation. Then square the deviation. Step four. Obtain the mean of the square of the deviation. Then find the positive square root of the value obtained in step four. That is in the value obtained of the mean square. 
Now, let us take this example. Here you are asked to A, find the mean score, B, find the standard deviation. Now, let us look at it. Take a look at this table. This is what we call a frequency table. Do I have the first column? Is the score, which is X. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the frequency, the number of students that score 3, uh, three is 2, 4 is 6, 5 is 5, 6 is 7, 7, 6, 8, 9, 9, 8, 10, 5. Then we have Fx. Fx is, you use the frequency to multiply the score. In the first place, 2 times 3, we have 6. 6 times 4, 24. 5 times 5, 25. 4 times 6, 24. 6 times 7, 42. 9 times 8, 72. 8 times 9, 72. 5 times 10, 50. Now, we take that. The summation Fx over summation F is we now give you what? We are 315 divided by 45. That will give you our mean. That will give you the mean. Therefore, in this case, our mean is what? 7. Then let's go back again to the table. Now, we have to find D. D, I told you, is the deviation from mean. Remember, our mean is 7. Now, the deviation is what? It, it, a three, which is the score minus seven, that will give you minus four. Four minus seven minus three. Five minus seven minus two. Six minus two. Uh, six minus seven minus one. Seven minus seven zero. Eight minus nine one. Nine minus seven two. Ten minus seven three. Then you we will proceed. Now we have to square the deviation. That is now minus four square sixteen, minus three square nine, minus two square four, minus one square one, and so on and so forth. Then the last row we have what f d square. That is frequency multiplied by the the deviation square. Then we go ahead. Two, we, the frequency which is 2 times 16, we have 32. 6 times 9, 54. 5 times 4, 20. And so on and so forth. Then, when you calculate that, we now have from here now, summation FD square, which is the row of the, the color of FD square. You add it together. If you do that, you have 196 over the total frequency, which is what? 45. Then you have 4.322. When you take the square root, you have 2.0869, which is approximately 2.1. Now, mind you, I told you that we have two formula. The second formula is the square root of Summation F this summation F S square over summation F minus summation F X over summation F all square. Now let us use this formula. If you are using this formula, this will, will, will be your table. This is how your table is going to look like. Again, we have our X, we have our F, then we now have our X square. Our X square now, let's look at it. X 3 square 9, 4 square 16, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, and so on and so forth. Then we have Fx. Fx, of course, we have that before. 2 times 3, 6. 4 times 6, 27, 24. Then we have that. Now, we now have Fs square. Fs square, that is frequency multiplied by S square. That is 2 times 9, 18. 6 times 16, 96. 5 times 25, 125, and so on and so forth. Now, when you now add this together, 
In this case, mind you, our formula is what? The square root of summation fx squared over summation f minus summation fx over summation f all squared. Now, using that formula, we have that our summation fx squared will give you 2401. Of course, our summation fx is what 45. All minus Summation fx is what 350 and our summation fx is what <coughs> 45 all square. Then when you evaluate that, you have 53.355 minus 7 square. And when you evaluate that, you have 4.355 and the square root again is what 2.0868, which approximately. 2.1. This is the same answer that we have when we use the other formula. Please, my dear student, I want you to, to, to go through this video again and again. And when you have any question, when we come to class in the next class, we shall discuss it. Please, I am also going to upload this video in my youtube handle please subscribe to it and i need your comment from time to time to make it better thank you and god bless you see you in the next class thank you